third seasons are when you get to really um, up the ante. I think ramp things up. And I'm just so looking forward to doing that with the writers, with the cast, with everyone who works on Abbott. Um, a lot of us had a lot of time off and we're really excited to get back to the creative process that is making the show. Gregory's evolution has been really interesting. You know, starting off in season one, he was very uncommitted to Abbott um, and uncommitted to kind of being in this position of being a teacher uh, as he was kind of striving more for being a principal. And slowly we've kind of seen him not only just settle into becoming a teacher, but choose it as a profession and choose the work that, it, that comes with it. Um, it's been really nice to see him kind of break out of his comfort zone and be constantly put in these really uncomfortable positions um, as a way to not only find things within himself, but really find a sense of purpose in who he is. Um, so it's been really fulfilling and fun to, to play with all of these kind of difficult, uh, nervous energy moments that he has as he slowly begins to figure out who he is. Are there any ways that I personally re relate to Ava? Yeah, uh, many ways. Uh, wardrobe and also hustle. I'm a hustler and she makes things happen with a little bit. And I think that's um, what's special about her. She keeps the school running. She keeps everything running and people don't know what uh, people don't know or give her credit for all the stuff that she's doing, but she makes it look easy. I relate to that. Well, Melissa Shimenti is somebody that if a lot of people are very familiar with. If you're an East Coaster, you know a version of Melissa. I personally have a bunch of Melissas in my family. Um, and one of the great things uh, that I hear from people that are familiar with this brand of Sicilian diva <laughs> is that she's authentic and that she's, uh, a very um, well-loved South Philly archetype. I play Barbara Howard. Barbara Howard is the kind of teacher at the school where she does not need to wear an ID badge because if you do not know who she is, then you don't belong here. Yeah, that says so much about who she is. She's very proper. She does this job because she loves this job and she knows what it means to be a dedicated human being that pours into the hearts and minds of the world's children as a teacher. What's exciting about season three is I think Jacob feels very connected to the people that he's working with now and uh, kind of like rock steady in his place in Abbott and so um, I don't think you can expect too much to change, but I think there's a confidence and a swagger behind what he's doing and, and, um, and his relationships that I think uh, is very exciting. It's a great environment. The cast and crew, everyone gets along. Everyone's very supportive of one another. It's one of the best environments I've, I've worked in, and I've worked around town a bit, you know, but it's, uh, it's been just an exceptionally loving and giving environment. You know, when I'm away, I miss them. With Abbott specifically, I wanted to create a show that families could watch together, but also people could enjoy in their, on their own. So I wanted, um, you know, I wanted it to be a show that you could show your mom and dad. I actually, over Thanksgiving this year, heard a lot, a lot of people being like, Abbott is what we watched over Thanksgiving. That warms my heart um, because that's the time where you have all types of people from your family in one room. And if there's one show you can all watch together, I'm so happy that that's Abbott, that that's, when you f like do exactly what you set out to do, there's no more fulfilling feeling in the world. Mm -hmm.